Good morning and welcome back again. I'm Miss Sandari and this is Science Equals Fun. Okay, in today's video, we are, we are going to answer some uh, examinations. So are you ready to start? Let's go. Okay. Uh, we will start with Kyron. Okay, give reason. Iron rod, not copper rod, are used in building concrete houses. Okay, when you think about building a house, you need something, uh, some materials that are hard. So since the hardness of iron rod is more than the hardness of copper rod, so we will prefer to use iron rod. So we, we use iron because iron is, is the hardness of iron is more than the hardness of copper. Okay. So this uh, question, give reason iron rod, not copper rod, are used in building concrete houses because the hardness of iron is more than the hardness of copper. Okay. The next one. The symbol of sodium is Na, not SO, as expected. Expected. Okay. So since the uh, symbol is derived from the Latin name, not the English one, so it will be Na, not SO. And this is the answer it's simply. So the symbol of sodium is Na, not SO, because the symbol is derived from the Latin name. The Latin name. Okay. When the ball of the pendulum reaches the maximum height, the kinetic energy equals zero. So think about this. Okay, here we have the string, the pendulum. Okay. As the pendulum go up, we notice that, think about this, its speed will increase or decrease as the, pend as the ball of the pendulum goes up, its speed decrease till it, till it reach the maximum height. At the maximum height or maximum point, we will notice that the speed equal zero. Why? V, uh, which is velocity. Uh, velocity is the speed. We can say velocity or speed. So this one is speed. And you can read this one. Okay. equal zero. So at a maximum height, at a maximum height, the speed equals zero. Think about this. When you when you when the when the ball go goes uh, up, we notice that the speed keep decreasing till we reach the maximum height, the speed equals zero. And since the speed equals zero, this will make the kinetic energy equal zero. Since we know that the kinetic energy equal how by mass by by sorry by versus square so when a velocity equals zero or when the speed equals zero this will make the kinetic energy as well equal zero so this is the answer when a ball of pendulum reaches the maximum height the kinetic energy equals zero because at a maximum height the speed equals zero and since the kinetic energy equal half by mass by versus square, this means that kinetic energy equals zero as well. So this one was clear enough. Four living organisms must be classified. Why? Okay. We have numerous number of living organisms. So we have to classify them. Why? To easily study. So this uh, question, live, living organism must be classified. Why? due to the enormous diversity in, in the number of living organisms or in kinds of living organisms and to, to ease their study. So again, living organisms must be classified. Why? Due to the enormous number of kinds of living organisms and to ease their study. Complete. The second level, L, is saturated with Eight electrons, eight electrons. Okay, and the following figure, the lamp. Okay, uh, since we're talking about the energy level, the first one, K, is saturated with two, L is saturated with eight, uh, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q. Only the first one, K, is saturated with two while the rest of the living organism is saturated with eight, okay? 
to show to give this in your mind only the living or is a only the first energy level k is saturated with two and the rest is saturated with eight okay so the first energy level is the lamp is illuminated <clears throat> In which cases only? Okay, let's think about this. The aluminum slide or the aluminum slide is good conductor or bad conductor? Good conductor. So this one is uh, will will illuminate. Okay, plastic spoon is not is a bad conductor. Root copper key is a good conductor, and electric battery. Uh, I'm sorry, air air is a bad conductor. So we have one and three. The lamp will illuminate in one and three. Why one and three? Because one is aluminum slide and aluminum is a good conductor of electricity and the three copper is a good conductor of electricity as well. Okay. Oven is a source of which energy? Okay, it's very easy. Heat energy. So oven is a, a source of heat energy. I'm sorry for bad writing. Okay. What is a modification in behavior of a living organism at a specific time of the, of the day or a year? Okay, think about this. He said behavior, modification in behavior. So once you hear modification, think about adaptation. But which type of adaptation? So when once you hear or read modification, think about adaptation. But which type of adaptation? We have three types. Functional, behavioral, structural, which type? And then, then he said behavior. So it's a behavioral adaptation. Okay, to give this uh, more clear, when he say a specific time, specific time of the year, so modification, you will think about adaptation. Behavior, you will th it, it, make it, it make, made it close for you. Behavioral adaptation. And specific time, so we are definitely talking about behavioral adaptation. So this one is behavioral adaptation, behavioral adaptation. The answer is behavioral adaptation. So behavioral adaptation, it's a modification in the behavior of a living organism at a specific time of day or year. Let's move to the next one. What happens when rubbing your hands together Okay, when you rub your hand, when you rub your hands together, then you are moving your hand, and any movement. When no, I I told you, whenever you hear movement, think about mechanical or kinetic, and in this case, it would be mechanical energy. So whenever you hear movement, any movement, any move, you, you, the movement of your hand, the movement of the brakes in the bicycle, the movement of the match, the movement of the fan. The, the blazer mean of the fan, any movement, any movement represents mechanical or kinetic energy. And in this case, it will be mechanical energy. So rubbing your hands uh, will, uh, this rubbing your hands represent uh, mechanical energy. Okay, what happens when you rub your hands? You will feed the heat. So this happened due to the mechanical energy change into heat energy. So mechanical energy, it changed into heat energy. By what? By friction. So mechanical energy, moving your hand, represents a mechanical energy. And then when you wrap your hands together, you will feel the heat. So the mechanical energy changes into heat energy. By what? By friction. Friction between your hands. Okay, the next one. Opening a perfume bottle in a closed room. Okay, since we know that all the uh, um, molecules are in continuous motion, so since they, are, since they are in continuous motion, this will lead to that the perfume will uh, spread all over the room. So whenever you stand at any place in the room, you can just spill it. So opening a perfume bottle in a closed room, the odor of the perfume will spread all over the room. And if you think about this, why uh, does this happen? Because the molecules of the perfume are in continuous motion. Okay, here's the correct answer. The following cubes have the same mass. So they have the same mass. Which one has the highest density? Okay, we previously know that density equal mass over volume. And since the, they have the same mass, so we will not 
we will not think about the mass, okay? We will not think about the mass. We we'll think only about the uh, volume, okay? Which one has the highest density? Think about this. The density and the volume, they are inversely proportional. This means what? When uh, the, uh, the one that has highest density, it has less volume, okay? So again, he is asking me about which one has the highest density, okay? And since we know that the density and uh, and volume are inversely proportional, this means what? This means that the one that has the highest density has less volume. So when I, I'm, I'm looking for the one that has highest density, I'm looking for the one that has least or lowest uh, volume. Okay? Okay. Uh, okay, let's talk about this. The first one, okay. What is meant by uh, volume? Okay, uh, we are looking for the one that has most density, it has less volume. What is meant by volume? Volume means it takes a space or applying a space or occupies, I'm sorry, occupies a space. Okay, so the first one occupies most space. So more space, occupies more space. So it has more uh, less density and it, it's wrong. The first, the second one, no. C. C is the answer. Why? Because when we are looking for the one that has highest density, and since they all have the same mass, we will think about the volume. So the one that has highest density, it has less volume. So which one has less volume? Of course, C. Why C? Because it occupies small space or smaller one, smaller from the others. Okay, in the following figure, at, at which point the potential energy of the ball equals zero. Okay, think about this. We know that the potential energy is directly proportional to height. Okay, so which one, which one has uh, a potential energy equals zero? Of course, you see, why see? Because the, the potential energy is directly proportional to height. And this one, this height here is more than here, and this height here is more than here. And here the height equals zero. And since the, the height equals zero, so the potential energy equals zero. We know that potential energy equal width by height, or height by weight, the same. Okay, and since the height equals zero, so the potential energy equals zero here. Here the height equals zero, it's on the ground, so the height equals zero. And since the height equals zero, so the potential energy equals zero as well. So the answer is C. Okay. Okay. Silver. Silver. Silver is symbolized by AG. As a solar cell, the solar energy, it changed into mm, electric energy. Solar cell, solar cell, the, they are, uh, maybe you can say a device or something that is used to change the solar energy into electric energy. Okay, give an example of which is the following, an animal of a big size. Maybe you can say rhinoceros, rhinoceros or elephant or uh, anything that comes into your head. Uh, okay, this one is easy. A plant carries a small sized leaves. We can say Mulkhaya. Okay, complete the following diagram. Okay, here. Here we have state one, state two, state here three. Okay, the first one. Which state will it change into by which process into liquid state? Of course, we're talking about solid state. Solid state will change into a liquid state by melting. And the liquid state will change into which state? By what? By which process? Okay, liquid state will change into gaseous state. By which process evaporation evaporation
Okay, this was the next question. Choose the odd word or symbol out, then write the scientific term of the other. Helium, lithium, magnesium, and potassium. Okay, when you think about this, we will notice that all of these are solid. Only the helium is the gas. So since he is asking about the scientific term for the other, so the odd one here is the helium, and the rest is solid. The next one, jellyfish, octopus, earthworm, and bird. Okay, when you think about this, all of them, uh, jellyfish, octopus, earthworm, all of them have soft body. Well, this one have uh, a vertebral column. It has it 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 has um um was internal support. It has a support. So the bird has a uh, internal support. Well, uh, but while the rest have a uh, soft body. So jellyfish, octopus, earthworm. So the odd one is bird, and the rest have soft body. Okay, three acidic solution, sugar solution, salt solution, and alkaline solution. Okay, sugar solution, because the rest are good conductor of electricity. Okay, four, ice, wood, a piece of iron, and petroleum. Okay, a piece of iron, of course. Why a piece of iron? Okay, think about this. When you add ice, wood, or petroleum to water, all of these uh, materials will float in water. So the piece of iron is the only material that has more density. So what's common between the rest, all of them have low density, that's density of water, so all of them will float. So ice, wood, petroleum, all of them have less density than water. Here's the next one. Show by drawing electron configuration of each of the following atoms. Neon. Let's start by neon. Neon, it has how many uh, electrons? It has, uh, its atomic number is 10. So shall we start by doing the electron configuration? Okay, the first one, K. K will, will, uh, will take uh, how many electrons? Two, uh, uh, of course, because A is saturated with two electrons. And think about this. We have 10, okay? And we have took two, uh, we have taken two uh, electrons out of 10. What's left? Of course, eight. So since L is saturated to the 8, so it will take 8. So 2 plus 8 equal 10. So this is the electronic configuration of neon. Let's move to calcium. Uh, chlorine, I'm sorry, chlorine. Okay, chlorine. <clears throat> Cl17. Okay, let's start with a first a first energy level K is saturated with two, and we have um, fifteen left. So L is saturated with eight; it will take eight. So we have two plus eight equal ten. To so ten out of seventeen, so we have seven left. KLM, so seven. So this is electron configuration of chlorine. Let's move to the next one, uh, calcium. Calcium 20. Twenty. The first one, K, take two. Then we have L is set to with two as well. So we have ten left. M is set to with eight. So 2 plus 8 plus 8 equal 18. 18 out of 20, so we have 2 left. Okay. KLMN, that 2 is 2. So this is the configuration of calcium. Okay, let's move to the next last one, which is our lovely hydrogen. Hydrogen, so K. One electron only. This is the configuration of uh, hydrogen. Okay, what is meant by?
The density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter. Okay, this means the, the, the mass of one cubic centimeter of water is one gram. So this means that the mass, the density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter. This means that the mass, that the mass of one cubic centimeter of water is one gram. Okay. The boiling point of water. This means that water begins to change from the normal state, which is water, into water vapor at 100 degrees. So the boiling point, boiling point, it changes from water into water vapor. So this means that the water begins to change from water into water vapor at what uh, 100 uh, Celsius. Okay. What means what meant by uh, the kinetic energy of an object is 40 joules. This means that the work done during the motion of the object equal 40 joules. Okay, question number four. Okay, write the scientific term. Anything that has mass, wait, okay, anything that has mass and volume, so we're talking about, of course, about the matter, matter. Matter is anything that has mass and volume, matter, matter. Okay, two, it is the ability to do work or to make a change, of course, energy, energy. So A, matter, uh, uh, one, uh, matter, two, uh, energy, okay. Three, they are living organisms that can't be seen by naked eye, but they spread all uh, everywhere around us. So we're talking about what microorganism as well, microorganism of course. So one matter, two energy, three microorganism. Okay. It is the smallest part of matter which can exist freely and it has the properties of matter. Okay, think about this. I know it's uh, maybe uh, confusing as uh, a the, the, uh, definition of atom and definition of molecule and definition of element. Okay, to keep this clear, whenever you see it has the properties of matter, it has the properties of matter. So we're talking about the molecule. I know that the first part will be uh, more, uh, um, maybe confusing, but whenever you see it has the properties of matter, so we're talking about a molecule. Whenever you see it has a property of matter, so we're talking about a molecule. Okay, five, the sum of potential energy and the kinetic energy of an object. Mechanical energy, mechanical energy, you know that potential energy plus kinetic, kinetic energy equal Mechanical energy. Okay. Write the symbol of the following element nitrogen, N, argon, A, R, iron, F, A. Okay. Two. If the nucleus of an oxygen atom contains eight protons and eight neutrons, find the atomic number and the mass number of the oxygen and how the symbol of oxygen uh, element is written. Okay. Let's start with, okay. Uh, he told me that it has eight protons. We know that the number of electron equal the number of proton equal the atomic number. Okay, so he is, is asking me about the atomic number. So atomic number equal eight, okay. And he is asking about the mass number. Okay, mass number. I will write it here. Mass number equal number of protons plus number of neutrons. Okay, number of protons eight. Number of neutrons eight as well. So the mass number, mass number equal sixteen. Okay, and the symbol of oxygen is O. Okay, the last question in this examination, in this exam, uh, calculate the density of iron cube, its mass is 78 gram and its volume is 10 uh, cubic centimeter. Okay, density equal mass over volume. So mass equals 78 and volume equal 10 
So the answer is 7.8. 7.8, since the mass, is, the unit of the mass is gram and the unit of volume is cubic centimeter, so the unit of density is gram per cubic centimeter. Okay, now we will answer the second example. Complete the following statements. An alloy of what is used in making the jewels? Copper gold alloy. Uh, while an alloy of what is used in making heating coils, nickel chrome uh, alloy. So here the answer is copper gold, here nickel chrome. Okay. What and what plant reproduce by spores? So here he needs some examples. Okay. So we have fougere and adiantum. Fougere and adiantum. So plants that reproduce by forming spores are known as fern, and examples of fern is Fougier and Adiantum. Okay. The liquid state of matter has what which shape why, and what volume. Okay. Indefinite shape and definite volume. So this means the shape of the uh, liquid matter can change. It can take multiple shape, shapes. Uh, it will take the shape of the container you put it while the volume is definite. The volume of the liquid doesn't change. So it's a definite volume and indefinite shape. Okay, the mass number, it is a sum of protons and neutrons. Protons and neutrons. True or false, heat is transferred in solids by convection and radiation. Radiation. Or false, by conduction. The positive pole in the simple electric cell is Cooper true to ion piece with equal mass will have different volume. Why? They have the same mass. Okay. So we know that density equal mass over volume. Okay, okay. And we say that we have two iron piece. So this one here and this one here. We said that density is a constant value. This means that when you bring a large piece of iron and a small piece, they have the same density. The density is a constant value. Okay, this mean what? This means that the density of this cube equals the density of this one. Okay, the density of this one equals the density of this one. And since the density equal mass, mass over volume, and density equal mass, mass, I'm sorry, mass over volume, the density here, the density of the, this one, of this cube, equals the density, equals the density of this one. Okay? Okay. So the density here equals the density here. And the mass here, the mass of this cube, equals the mass of this cube. So this lead to the volume of this cube equals the volume of this cube. So this lead to that. Wait. the uh, two iron piece with equal mass, they must have similar volume. This one is false. Okay. Ammonia molecule consists of three atoms or two different elements. Okay, let's think about this. Ammonia in H Three. It consists of how many atoms? Let's count one nitrogen and three hydrogen. So one plus three equal four atom. So it consists of four atoms, two different elements. So four atoms. 
four atoms. Problem. An object move with speed 30 meter per second. Calculate its kinetic energy knowing that its mass is 500 gram. Okay. Okay. Shall we start? At first, he gave me the speed, but he gave me the mass in gram. And to calculate the kinetic energy, we need to use the mass in kilogram. So at first, we will change the mass from gram into kilogram. Okay, so mass equal five, sorry, no moving, okay, 500 over 1. Thousand equal maybe it's maybe um, zero point five I think um kilogram okay and then let's uh calculate the kinetic energy kinetic energy equal how by mass by velocity square so how by mass uh, 0 0.5, 30, okay, and uh, use by, by using the calculator, it, it, um, is, so the kinetic energy equal 200, 225 joules, okay, don't forget to write joules. Okay. Question two. All the following solution conduct electricity except okay, let's think about this. Salty conduct, acidic conduct, alkaline conduct, sugary is a bad conductor of electricity. In the car engine, the chemical energy it change into mm, let's think about this. Okay, the chemical energy in the fuel, it changes into what? By burning, by burning, okay, let's take it step by step. At first, we know that the car contains fuel, okay, it contains fuel. And this fuel represents chemical energy. By burning the fuel, burning the fuel, this will uh, make the chem chemical energy in the fuel change into, of course, heat energy. We're saying by heat, by, by burning, by burning the fuel, the chemical energy change into kinetic, uh, I'm sorry, heat energy. So the answer is heat energy. Okay. Heat is transferred through space by convection, now radiation, mm, of course. Radiation. Radiation, it is a transferring of heat through med material medium and non material medium. While convection through sol uh, liquid and gases. Conduction through solid. Conduction, solid, convection, solid, uh, liquid and gas. So the one that is correct is radiation. So convection, liquid and gas. Conduction, solid. Conduction, solid. Conviction, liquid and gas. So the correct answer is radiation. Rocks hide themselves in mud during winter. This is called hibernation. Once you hear during the winter, you must choose hibernation. Write the scientific term of each of the following. The plant which feed on insects, insectivorous, insectivorous, insectivorous plant, insectivorous plant. So plants that feed on insects, religious insect, insectivorous, insectivorous plant. Two, a group of animals that have one pair of incisors, incisors in each jaw. It has one pair, one pair only, rudent, rudent. Rudent like rabbit, like jerboa. Uh, three. A group of gases, their molecules are monoatomic molecule. Of course, noble gases. 
noble gases like hydrogen, helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon, all of these are uh, mono, uh, uh, they are gases that have a monoatomic nuclear. So this one is noble gases, noble gases, noble gases. Okay, for the change of matter from liquid state into gaseous state by heating from liquid to gas. Okay, evaporation, evaporation, evaporation. From liquid to gas, evaporation. Compare between uh, electron and the proton concerning their charge. Okay, the electron carry negative charge while protons carry positive charge, their position in the atom, okay. Electrons uh, uh, rotate around the atom, or I'm sorry, around the nucleus, around the nucleus. Here in the atom, we have the nucleus, which contain positively charged proton and uh, neutral neutrons, and here we have the electrons. So the electrons rotate around the nucleus. This one is a nucleus, and here we have the electrons rotate around the nucleus in a in energy level. Okay, the position of protons. The protons, as I've said, they exist within the molecule, uh, the nucleus, I'm sorry, within the nucleus. So again, again, I will say it once more. It's considered this one is the uh, nucleus, okay, the atom. Here we have protons and we have neutrons. And around the nucleus, we have electrons. So the electron rotate around the nucleus. Well, the protons exist within the nucleus. Okay, give reason for the atom is electrically neutral. The atom. Okay, think about this. Inside the nucleus, we can find positively charged protons. Okay, and then and down the nu uh, nucleus, we have electrons. Okay. Shall we uh, count the protons and the neutrons? Okay, we have here one proton and one electron. So this tells us that the number of positively charged protons equal number of negatively charged new electrons. So the number of positively charged protons equal number of negatively charged electrons. So the number of positive equal number of negative, and this tells us that the atom is electric neutral. So again, give reason. The atom is electrically neutral. Why? Because the number of positively charged protons equal number of negatively charged electrons. Okay. When you leave the perfume bottle, Open to you, smell it all over the room. Why? Okay, we all know that the molecules of the matter are in continuous motion. So they will keep moving, moving till all the room is filled with uh, the perfume. So when you leave the, the perfume bottle open, do you smell it all over the room? Because the molecules of perfume, perfume are in continuous motion. Okay, give reason when the energy is preferable than fuel energy, why? Okay, so when the energy are cheap and they don't pollute the environment, so they are clean, cheap, and they don't pollute the environment. And monkeys, for a monkey's bones uh, of the front limbs are, and fingers are elongated, why? To perform the function of to perform the, the function of climbing trees and holding things. So if I change this question into give reason, uh, in maybe in wheels, bones of the four limbs are, and fingers, or make it, maybe we can say limbs. We will not say fingers because whales doesn't have, uh, don't have uh, fingers. They have uh, pa battles, battles. So um, give reason. Wheels have paddles. Okay, why do they have paddles? To perform the function of swimming. Uh, okay, if I ask about the horse, is the front limbs of a horse to perform the function of running. Maybe what else is the bat? The bat has wings to perform the function of flying. So when it, whenever you, you are asked about the front limbs of any mammal, think about the function of this. Uh, limb. Like what? Like in monkey's bones of the front limbs and fingers are elongated. 
to perform as a function of climb to trees, climb trees, and holding things. So climb trees and holding things. It throws the old word. Conduction, conviction, friction, and radiation. Of course, friction. Because all of these are ways of transferring the heat uh, through uh, objects. Electric fan, electric heating, electric bill, and petrol stove. Of course, petrol stove. Because all of these uh, tools or machines use electricity. Okay, wax, aluminium, butter, ice, aluminium or aluminum. Because all of these, uh, or all the rest, melt uh, in uh, or, or maybe you can say soft in ordinary temperature. Okay, sodium, ammonia, water, and the hydrogen chloride. Uh, let me think about this. Okay, maybe you can say sodium. Why sodium? Because well, sodium is an element. While ammonia in H3, water H2O, hydrogen chloride HCl, all of them are of compounds, whereas sodium is the only element. Okay, what is the function of? Okay, the long beak in heron. Okay, think about this. What is the food of the heron? It eats worms and snails. So the long beak in heron, its function is to pick up worms and snails. So pick up worm and, worm and snails. Okay, the palm legs in geese to help them in swimming, since we know that duck and geese swim in water. So to help them in swimming. What happens when? Using water in extinguishing a petrol fire, what will happen? We know that the density of petrol, uh, petrol, I'm sorry, petrol only, the density of petrol is less than the density of water. So it would it will float on the surface of the water and the, uh, the, the fire will not put out. So the petrol, will float on water and the fire will not put out. An electron gains a quantum of energy. Okay, let's consider it as it stays here. The electron is here, okay? And then it gains energy. So it will move or be transferred to a higher energy level. This one is energy level. This one here is energy level and this one is a higher one. So it will be transferred into a higher energy level. And in this case, the atom will be excited. So again, again, the atom here, the, uh, when an electron gain energy, it will be transferred into the next energy level or a higher, it be specific, specific, a higher energy level. And the electron will be, the atom will be excited. So again, the, the electron uh, gain energy and it change and it transfer into a higher energy level. And the atom will be excited atom. Three, the chameleon. What happens if the chameleon can't change its colors? Think about this. What is the main purpose of the camouflage that the chameleon do? The chameleon use the camouflage or have the camouflage to, at first, to sneak on its prey and to hide from predators. Maybe you can replace a uh, sneak uh, uh, up to, okay. maybe you can say in simpler form, we can say what, okay. He, he, he has camouflage and he needs the camouflage so that its prey can see him, can see it, I'm sorry, can see it and that uh, its predators can only can see him. Okay, can see it. So in case that he can't change its colors, he or the chameleon, I'm sorry, the chameleon will be easy prey for predators and as well, it can't catch its prey because he can't sneak onto its, its prey. So again, the chameleon 
can't change its colors. What happens when the chameleon can't change its colors? Okay, it can't capture its prey and it will be as the, the chameleon will be easy, easy prey for predators because they can easily see it. So it can't capture its prey and it may be seen its enemies with which prey it. So okay. Uh, so it would be as a chameleon will be easy prey and it can't capture its enemies. Um sorry, it's a prey. Okay. Uh, the ants have four pairs of jointed legs. What happens when? Okay. Since we classify ants to insects because they are they have three pairs of jointed legs. So in case they have four four pairs of jointed legs, they will be classified to arachnids. So ants normally are insects. Why? Because they have three pair of jointed legs. But in case they have four pairs of jointed legs, in case in this case, they will be classified as arachnids. We'll give an example of each of the following. Huge tree, maybe you can say Kafur or something. Um, big size animal, maybe you can say rhinoceros or uh, elephant. Gymnosperm plant, maybe you can say pine tree or sex uh, tree or plant. Uh, device uses solar energy, maybe you can say solar heater. Okay, there was an electronic configuration of each of the type of the following. Okay, let's start. Let's start by K, potassium, K, 19, K, the first energy with K is saturated with 2, and then we have 17 left, so L will be saturated with 8. 10 out of uh, 19, we have 9 left, so K, L, M, M is saturated with 8 electron. And 2 plus 8 plus 8 equal 18. 18 out of 19. So we have one electron left, KLM in. And this one will take one electron. So this is the electron configuration of potassium. Potassium is active element. Okay. Now let's do the electron configuration of neon. Neon, it has 10 electrons. K is saturated with 2. And we have eight left, two out of 10, we have eight left. So KL L will take the eight. Okay, this is the electronic configuration, configuration of neon. Neon is an active element, okay. This was for the second exam.